resin. We are waiting to see what Izzy has. Welcome back to another one. Today we're at Beadnell in uh, Northumberland. It's just gone six o'clock in the morning. I uh, thought we'll come down hopefully get among some cod. I am with Adam and Ray. We're just cooking some sausage sandwiches up there. Uh, we're going to get a couple more on the go before we head up. While looking to fish, I think it's the ladies' hole in Naka Point. If I've got them right, um, low tide at the minute. So obviously we'll be fishing the flood, fish it back down an hour or two. Sean's on his way down. He's going to be meeting us, meeting up with us about eight o'clock. Uh, so hopefully we can whip some fish out. If you are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. It costs nothing, absolutely free and it helps out a lot and everybody who has been commenting on the videos of late I mean honestly the interaction with you is fantastic and I love it guys as you've seen with uh beating a beadnell had a look around uh went along the side of ladies point and that slip of the same we didn't have the rod left arm man not as sore as it was but still sore uh, we've also went out to the harbour as you've seen there at the minute with the tide being out unfishable well we're hoping to be able to fish at both sides of the tide but not learning curve though this was going to, always going to be more of a recce with we're not ever fishing this or coming here before so we've decided between the three were that we're going to hit amble fish off the pier now last time we went to amble we had a lot of bother with boats and that coming in on purposely taking more lines hoping that's not going to be the case today and hoping when we also get the amble we're going to whip some fish out Right guys, a bit windy, but we're here to eight Amble, right at the end of the pier. We're all set up, but now we're going to have to be watching each other for casting and that, one of them. But this is where we're setting my hat for the day. So, hopefully, day one blanks, well, I've got them in gang of three. And that's where we can get some fish out. It's going to be quite difficult to block myself from the end of the day so I am going to apologise now for anyone that will uh, complain about the wind raising We are waiting to see what it is he has Codlin That's what we're here for We're going to have to come closer over it's not a keeper, but it's not a bad size to start the day. Not a bad size to start. Pull it 
we're heading out there for us on got some lugworm that we got from Lenny's yesterday got a bit of muscle attached to that as well you never know that wind is going to be picking up so we're having to accept the fact that before one o'clock we need to be off the head of here because the winds are picking up at like 39 miles an hour and we're going to kind of bit further down where the winds will pop a little bit by the houses hopefully we'll continue on there Right guys, we're here, had to move from the head, um, the winds were picking up, like I say they're hitting 30s, higher than 30, so staying on the top of there, which is not going to happen. Trying to get the scores right late in the last one. Three, two, one, down to court none. <laughs> There's Ray with his four for the day. A little white though. Well in, mate. I just need to get a fish Right off towards my line. Towards your line. Right. Oh, that's a little bit like that. And there we have it, guys. That tiny little thing there, see if we can blank in the day. Your lip hooked. Well, it wasn't going to be anything else the size of the hook compared to the fish. But it is what it is. Nice that Adam. How are you? How many people do you do? That's uh, two so far. Well done, mate. Two. But uh, you find where the bigger ones are. As you've noticed, it is now pissing down. Maybe like this for the last hour. Stick it out as long as we can, right? Right, guys, and uh, welcome to part two of this video. Yesterday was just a nightmare. Uh, from me slipping a bead mill to the wind and the rain at Amble, got home, realised I didn't have much footage, like. Uh, and I ought to use it, keep putting these Saturday uploads up, so I decided to come back out the day. We've come to the groin, we haven't travelled far. We're going to give ourselves, I think it's four and a half, five hours up until the tide comes in. And the challenge for the day is to see how many fish we can catch. You never know, maybe, wrinkle out a codling or two. But we'll see. There, yeah, we've got the DFDS coming in. Sean's asked a question there, he went, I'm surprised that's coming in with the tie being low. But then, obviously as you all know, out here, it's all drenched, so far out. So the boat's gone in and out near Bobber. Darren's getting knocks. Only got a little bit of black lug on there. Three old hooks. And you've got a dog just been running down there. Be back if this materialises. I've just picked this up off the floor. Uh, no need for people just be discarding the line on the floor. How about guys? Just pick it up, take the end, put it in the bin. So I'm going to deal with it now. They've shown the bends with starfish. <laughs> Not a cod. Not a fish. But a starfish. Better than no. Adam's got the first actual fish of the day. You've got that daft neck this way, mate, haven't you? No, it's in the house, actually. There's no way. Just shows you didn't need the lucky charm, eh? 
<laughs> uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ, Adam. Got some butter fingers. There we go. Slippery as hell, right? Hey. <laughs> oh, hush. Mate, yeah. get it back quickly. Right, it's gone in there now. Fair play, mate. Right, guys. Another weird angle. Uh, I've gone through like three different rigs today. I've got me 4 0 pulley panel with a 3 0 panel hook. Uh, I've got two hook flat with three O's on. Uh, literally on this one, I'm just hiding a bit of black lug on. At the minute, I've got a 3 0 circle hook out. Uh, that's loaded with carton muscle. I was getting fights on it before, like, but. Small stuff. Yeah, we've got wandering Willy wandering around Sean. I'm getting knocked so yeah. That's what happens when I've got my back to it. Mm. Be bring that in in a minute anyway to hide us out. Said Adam snagged. It's the first snag of the day at the brine. But like I say, I've literally just thrown a bit of black lug through, prominent hook length, and I've done that on both hooks. That worm's crept up a little bit. I've done that on both hooks. So once I retrieve this one, and I'll lob this one out. There was a comment on my last video when I'm threading and bobbing my head. Well, that bobs for you because I didn't thread these ones on. That was better. That's Adam's fish. It's kind of about the size landed it now. Because of Sean. Oh. Looks like I had it, you know. Looks like I had it. It is a haddock, mate, aye. Right. Go and drop it in down there where the water is, mate. Fair play. You know what, Adam, eh? You found a canny little spot here for the day, haven't you? Ah. A little white. Looks like that was going to cook through. There's Sean, he's got his first one here. Oh, wriggling about. He's gonna get unhooked, he's gonna lob it back. Hey. Right, yeah, I've got uh, Adam back with a fish, and then I've got Sean's in, I've got to respect his hooks. These hooks look fine, to be fair. Flat look. Hey guys, got his little bait there, the car's in the waterworks. Take your tab out your mouth for a second, right? Tell all these here what bait you've been using over the last few weeks, and you've been catching loads of fish. Flat look. And that's it. That's it, really. Fair play, mate. That's it. Third, 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 black load. Right. <laughs> Point out, reel them in, tuck them back. Nice little cuddling. I'll get it back. Bye. There's Adam in. Let's go, little Tommy. Gonna get run, higher back. Nice waiting by Sean. Hey. Nice one, mate. He's gonna get her and hook. He's gonna lob it back. Yeah. I've just went for a very short lob there. Look at that team with this man. Yeah. And then when I cast back out, end up losing my rig. We probably. And then Sean just brought our listen. What the hell do you Oh, that was hanging around. I'll put it in the bin, like. You know the dance. Oh. I've still got no. There was no weight on it, though, which is a bummer. Aye, <laughs> right, so it's going to be a little bonus for you, isn't it? <laughs> and then we've got the uh, hands back in. Fair play, mate. These, these are feeling nightmare. Fair play, mate. As usual, there's other people fishing the groin, the walkway will be heaving. 
I've seen people walking along, there was people walking along when we first turned up this morning. And I was just sat here with no fish. There's Adam with another white. Fair play, mate. And eventually, I've got one that was on cotton muscle. Got it on both hooks. So I'm going to have to repeat that one back uh, I'm going to get the head on the hook, just a bit lively, get them back. So I've got a double shot, little card, got a white one. Okay. Okay, well, I'll come up towards high water now, so it might actually turn right on. Two tiny codling. Okay. You know, I've got size spray hooks on there, and I've still got the tiny codling. Oh, codling have got big mouths, though, mate. Oh. I am. Um, so you'll tend to find. So still take the three O's. You want to wrinkle past them, you need to be opening your hooks of six and sevens, which is what Ray was doing yesterday. Uh, Another waiting, and the ting. That was on the black lug. Had a bit of cart left on the bottom. So I just left that on and hide it out, it's disintegrated now. We'll get that rebated and get it back out after we've got him unhooked and lobbed him back. You've got Sean in there with a little and just kind of unhooked it and hide it back. Now we've got guys in my last last van down.